vegne og må komme til dig op her. Det er jer, der er syge nu. Det er jer, der er syge. Og jeg vil den med os og sige nok til en institution, for det er rigtig råd, hvor jeg kan komme på konkurrence på det. Det er sammen for at sende det selv, hvis mere end her på Kristus. Og se, tænker i fremtiden, kan også sætte det, hvis jeg bliver stand til at håndtere afhold efter andre end en sygmars. Det siger jeg til følgelser og faktisk. Det var det. Og så var det der sige til representanter for investorerne i salen, så jeg har forstået, at investorer i dag, der kaster ikke på pengene sine. De skal have bundlinjer og de og vel så det, i andre husby i Oslo for eksempel. Og sige til investorer, så vi hører hans hans risiko, han må løse det her gjort. Spørgsmålet først i forhold til volum, men det andet i forhold til investorer.
people in Lerdal have to send their, their waste all the way to Sweden. And soon that's not going to be allowed legally, and it's not the right thing. So our company has always been predicated on a local solution to treat small community waste. And when we met the people from CMAS, when we came to Lerdal, we saw all the things in place to make a very successful business here. Not, they had a stream of waste. There was an end product, pellets you could create, sell energy, and keep this all within Norway. So it was taking care of a local problem. It was creating jobs, creating a business, and ultimately the energy will be used to take a, another factory off of fossil fuels. So that, this was a vision we had for our company, and it's been difficult to find a place because this is the future where this, where this type of project's gonna work well. So that was the first reason. The second reason, when we came and we met the people here, we met the people at CMUS, the passion, the dedication they had to this project was what really made us want to take part as investors and put our money in it. Everyone knows Halbert here. He grew up here, he was born here, his family's from here. We, and I saw how important this was to him. And the reason it's so important to him is not only to take care of an environmental problem, to create industry, to create jobs, to do something for the future generations here in Lairdal, but this plant is going to be very unique. This is the future. If this can be done here, if this can be done, if we can all come together and do this project, there's tremendous benefits because this will be a showcase. This is going to be replicated in other parts of Norway and in all over Europe. And if this community can do come together and do a plant such as that, I think it'll be an amazing success story for the community. And then eventually this will be copied throughout Europe and hopefully one day in North America we can become as progressive and catch up. So I appreciate the opportunity to be here. And I think when you do a project like this, a lot of questions come up. It's very important for people who live here to understand the all the different parts of this, how the business is going to work, environmental concerns, what it's going to look like. This is a beautiful part of the world, and the last thing anyone wants to do is take away from that beauty. They want to add to it. But once all those questions are answered, once everyone's comfortable with the technology, the environmental issues, I think it's time to start talking about all the great benefits to, and I'm happy to talk about that, and I know we've talked a little bit about that tonight, to talk about the benefits for Lairdal and Hoboken, Hoboken pardon me. Um, because I think the questions and the things that people worry about is natural, but I think for each of those, there's a lot of work that's being done, a lot of permitting. The government of Norway, people like Innovation Norway and NOVA, they're part of the investment in this as well. So no one would do anything that wouldn't be the right thing environmentally, and that's gonna help the local community and there's going to follow a lot of benefits from that. And uh, if you knew the passion and the energy all these people have put into it, they live here, and we'd like to be part of this for the next 20 years as well. So I appreciate your time, and thank you for allowing me to speak. I can answer any questions about our group or our company, um, and I'm hoping to be part of your success. Thank you. Like in the lair room, or Buri Ardal, so I have a par spurs monterica. They say a 30,000 ton me pellets. Come on, get cubic lira. Did a 60,000 cubic. Come on, get cubic me three square a high end. They have sucked it far. Or I think that I have a chamber guy out some net. Men jeg tror vi har glemt en del med logistikken og transporten vi ikke har. Så at vi ikke har lagt i fram tal til den, og jeg må også spørre, har de tenkt at pelletsen skal ut av på bil, eller skal den på balt? Og hva er kostnaden da med kjøra fra nye kai, eventuelt i Erdal, opp på Håbakken, og lager til pellets, og kjører han tilbake atter til Erdal på kajen, og sender han. Og samleisen 
laga babla i festningedalen för att köra dig in på hårbacken för att bränna dig hvis de kunde köra söpple i containera och tömma dig i en fjällhall ut i Erda så de har nöjt i plats i fjället och skyddar inte halla inne till lager och där det tränker så inte blir det ger lukt någon plats jag är verkligen beundrad inte för räknestycke det grejer att lägga fram och, och lägga detta ut Jeg vet hva det koster i Ardal å få oksiden døvre og metallet ned etter på tanken. Og jeg tror ikke det får noe mindre problem det her å slåss med når det gjelder andre som kan produsere pellets, for eksempel. Og er det noen i vegen for å ta uh, varmvattnet fra Ardal og inn på Ardal, så er det en godt isolert ledning. Det kan jeg aldri tenke om, men det har vel talt for det, og nå har det talt for mye annet. Kan du ha et par på det, eller Fyge? Ja. Ja. Du ser halvfarlig. Skal du gjøre noe med det? Nei, jeg kan begynne med det her med å ha kontroll på volymet, selvfølgelig har vi det. Hvis du snakker om 42 000 tonn med pellets i transportvolym, så er det 64 000 kubikk. Det vi skal ha inn av rundtømmer er 85 000 kubikk. Du kan få antall lastebillass som vi sitter og leder oss med, og, og, og har et tall på, og kalkulerer rundt. Så hadde du veldig mye betraktninger rundt det der med kostnader, så selvfølgelig, det var du helt rett i. Er, du kan ikke røre det på en kilo, men mindre det koster. Og når vi snakker